Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Blasphemous 2. Last time we left off we were doing a bunch of cleanup on the map because we finally got this sparkly platforms ability. And uh, I guess I'm gonna finish up that stuff today. We also have a coin to give to you. Um, so, eh, still a few things to grab. So, let's go ahead and get started with that. Alrighty, here is our first one. Uh, okay. Hmm. So I need to be close enough to that. Yeah, to... Do that. There we go. Alright, give me my mark. Alright, so I think this is where we gotta do something. Um, right here. When I walked up to that door earlier, um, it had... I'm so, so damn tired of these bats. Uh, get... Oh, damn. Uh, that stupid bat slowed me down there. Uh, but yeah, you can hear there's a whispering one of the sisters. So I guess we're gonna have another one of the gauntlet things to do today as well. Which is cool. Uh, climb. Whoop. Damn it. It's just keeping slightly too slow. I'm probably doing this jump here wrong. Um, I just, I, I'm recording this like <laughs> right after doing like a four hour stream and it's late, but I'm like, I should play a little bit of Blasphemous before I go to bed. So, that's why I'm struggling a little. Okay, so that is done. Down here is that. But wait. Ah, ha. I was like, wait a minute, because you're... Okay, there you are, damn it. You weren't even in that room. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, well, so she's probably in the door, and then I realized, wait, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Alright, we've got it. It's fine. We found that answer. Go away. Boom. Uh-huh. Nothing down there. To grab. Nothing here. Aha! There we go, our level 3 upgrade for these. This is where the damn things were hiding. So I could have gotten this a bit ago. I just... Yeah. Because we didn't need our, um... Our final ability for these, I don't... Yeah, no, we didn't. Because you just jump up there like that. Yeah, I just never came over back this way. After getting that previous thing, so... There we go. I just got incredibly unlucky and kept going the wrong ways for uh, where I needed to get for that. Okay, here we are at this place. It looks like I just need to be able to go jump really far. Yeah. Obeyed to the sleepless iron. Summons a guardian for a certain period of time who attacks nearby enemies. Chant a supplication to the sleeping sword and the penitents who once wielded it. Oh, it's expensive. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, we don't, we don't, <laughs> we do not have the fervor needed for that. That's, that's for people just rolling in money. Or, or not rolling in money, but rolling in fervor. I spend my money on other things, you see. Okay, so let's uh, drop those. And get up here, so. And now that we found, I guess I should go get that final, that final Predu upgrade, uh, really quickly, since we're right here by a teleporter, because, uh, it could be very, very useful. We'll see what it does. What if it makes it so Predus get rid of my guilt? Oh, wouldn't that be the, the, the best thing ever? Wouldn't that be amazing? Find. Oh, that's not all of them? Oh, I thought, yeah, one of each sister in white, and then three in the uh, the black robes. No, okay. Where are you taking me this time? I need to know. Preferably to one of the areas I can access myself. I don't know how you dorks get there, but aha, it is that room in the severed tower. <laughs> yes, this was bothering me. Sierzo. 
All right, what do you do, Sierzo? Uh, also you? There you. Oh, okay, that's you. Increases elemental damage when fervor is at its maximum. Not gonna be one I'm using much. The heart above, first verse. That malnourished child walked under a scorching sun that made the earth boil under his wounded bare feet. He walked with the aid of a dried, twisted root that served as a cane and poorly helped to lessen the burning pain that came with every step. He walked with his face down, averting his eyes from the blinding stare of that cruel light, only looking up every now and then to squint his eyes and make sure that far in the horizon the great city was still there, the one that's name he didn't know that majestically towered like a mountain in the middle of the barren desert. Okay, and then we have this to grab, which opens this way up. Okay, cool. And hey, would you look at that? We actually have more stuff to do up here. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta be really, really close to you to successfully dash under there. And then you just knock me. Yeah. There's my damage increase. Alright, get me through here. Hello. I saw that candle sitting there at the wall, and I knew. Candles mean a lot. Ooh. Sneaky. What does that do? Oh. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna skip all the enemies anyway, so... Uh-huh. Ow. Nope, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work! Especially... with contact damage. <laughs> Being a thing. Alright. Thought I was going to be able to skip all the enemies. Obviously not going to work out. You I might be able to skip. I think some of these assholes though I'm going to have to kill. Let's just take them out really quickly with one of these. Just die already. Gosh. There you go. Thank ya. Beautiful. So that's going to open that up. I can just jump past the one enemy here. And we should be good. Yeah. There we are. Cool. Mark of Martyrdom. And we got a sister out of that. So now we can just go down here and open this door. Okay, that candle didn't mean anything. Ah, I see. Nothing, uh, here? No. Alright, that away. Whoop. Need to redo that. And... Kablam! Boom. Alright, good stuff. So... Finish that off. I I'm, I'm, just, I'm still gonna wait on turning in all these wax figures because, uh... I just want to be sure... That I have them all before going over there, preferably. Alright, here's our next one of the sparkly thingies. Which gets me all the way up here to another Mark of Martyrdom. I could probably get some pretty cool stuff for Sarmiento and Centella, right? The second indicator. Increase my base defense just seems good. Ooh, consume a Verdadera Destreza indicator to boost your Sacred Lunge. Boost your Silver Cross. Increases the base damage, definitely get that. Increases the... unlocks the second, yeah. Increases the gain, ooh, okay, that's good too. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few good things there. Alright, so here's the next room. I just... Need a double jump for this, I guess. So, Liviana of the Blighted Blades. Uh, where is that? Launch a barrage of sharp blades that inflict miasma damage. What does that look like? Oh, that is not how I expected it to go at all. Do they home? Guessing they home in on enemies. They also go through wall- okay, that- that seems pretty good. Huh. Alright, I'll take that. The next thing we gotta do is just right over here. So I don't need to cut for this. We can just walk right over here. 
And this go away. Okay, I'm really bad at timing that today, apparently. Um, it's saying that I needed something here. Oh, oh, in here. Oh, yeah, that would that would do it. That's why I left it there because you can't put one in these rooms. All right, 27 out of 33 of those. We are certainly getting there. So. Once again, the next one that I need to go to is really close. So, I don't quite feel the need to, uh... Cut. There. There we go. And that's all I need to get to? Uh-huh. Hmm. How am I gonna go about getting to that? Guess that way? Yeah. Okay. Way easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so that's done. I got that. Um, the merchant used to be hanging out there. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I'll leave it just in case. Um, alright, so we just need to work our way up to the top there. Alright, here's our next one of these. Just gotta dash across. Do a little bit of light platforming. There we go. He's almost all. Okay, let's uh, maybe get a further swinging weapon there. If I would have diagonally stabbed there, we would have had it, but... Alright, so where does this get me to... Well, it gets me to right here, but what does it get me? Ah, another one of these. Cool. All right, so we got ourselves another little uh, challenge battle in our future. I think that's most of what I wanted. I left a marker there, but I, it's it's like right there. I don't think that's... Oh, you know what? I'll go check it just to be sure. All right. Um, there wasn't anything there. It was just a spot that I hadn't uh, actually changed. So what do I want to roll here? Still have increased. I have an increased mystical damage thing on. Oh yeah, it, uh, yeah, the guide that is right. Honestly, I just really don't even feel increase of the fervor generated, physical damage inflicted. Let's replace the mystical damage one. I was gonna increase my lightning damage, but wait, do I still not have something to increase my lightning damage? Slightly increases the damage of prayers. Recover health after an execution. Life is low. I could just increase the damage of, uh, what's it called, but... Reduces dodging cooldown. We're still missing quite a few things. I'm not totally sure where they are. Obviously, we're about to get one from this, but... We are still missing quite a bit. There's still a whole area, it seems like, we still need to find and explore, though, I will say. Alright. This could be the final one. May the uh huh. Once again, probably just gonna use Veredicto. It's it's just the best thing for enemies like this, big groups, because it's so arching. Oh, okay, these are at least that's an enemy I've never seen before. These are probably from the new area that I've uh, yet to explore. Oh, okay. Survived with like 1 HP. There we go. Yeah, that's pro that's a totally new enemy. Okay, you're not. You I can handle. You're different. I'm throwing flame yeah, fire fire uh flasks at me, like oil flasks. Oh, you're different. Okay. That's not a that's not the enemy you want to run into down here. Uh, we need to go ahead and put this on. Okay, that's one way to handle that. You did a lot of, a lot of damage to me. Mm -hmm. Totally fine. 
Okay, yeah, you're different. Can 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 I can I move? Jesus Christ! <laughs> they were like comboing me in their hitboxes. F fucking hell, please! God damn! Holy shit! They're just they're just comboing the absolute hell out of me, just by walking into me, basically. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that would have been one for Sarmiento and Centella. Holy shit! Oh, that was... that was rough. They just constantly teleport, and I kept getting knocked back by them just teleporting on top of me. I guess, like, I don't know, their robes flowed, and it... it their robes are made of, like, extremely heavy metal and just knocked Penitent one back. Or maybe they just really they stink. Maybe that's it. Maybe they just smell super bad. And we shall see. I always hate when enemies like that have contact damage, because then they could just teleport on top of you, which is just like, blah! Alright, let's give this another shot. I think Sarmiento and Centella would have been the call there, because then I could have, um... But I was just getting juggled around, like, my god. It was rough. That was like the hardest enemy encounter I've done in this game so far. Easily. Ow. Mm -hmm. Well, at least we definitely know there's another area, obviously, because... Uh-huh. Um, all of these enemies... Completely new. Or a lot of them, rather. This guy I've ran into before. Fuck. Hell. Okay, watch out for them. Ow. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> now that there's just one of them, it's gonna be so much easier. God. Just both of them teleporting around on top of me is just a lot to deal with. Screw you. <laughs> Oh, that's a rough encounter, my god. Alright, we did it. Like I said, Sarmiento and Centella definitely seemed the play there. Yep. Ow, that hit me. Mm-hmm. Oh god. Please don't be facing different directions, please. That is not ideal. Oh my god, the cooldown on that's craziness. Penitent one can't move for quite a while after. Huh. Oh my god. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Actually hard. <laughs> Mostly just because those enemies kept like uh, now you have Maybe there was something I was missing. Whoop. They are blessed. Go forth with those who seek forgiveness by looking out rather than in. Go forth with the falsely afflicted and the weak in faith. Go forth. I God, maybe maybe I was doing something wrong there, or wasn't noticing there was a way to tell which path they were actually taking or going to, but... Just the fact that they could, like, seemingly appear anywhere, and I didn't know how to prepare for that, and there were two of them made that a, made that a rough one. Whew. Alright, I can't, oh, I should have used this more. Oh, that would have been so useful. I, I'm not used to using my actual just B button press. Yeah, I'm not used to using my actual just B button press. I'm used to using just that giant tower thing. Okay. What is this new thing that I got to? Um. 
Uh, oh. Increases crit chance, huh? On top of... On top of what I already have. Goodbye, increased mystical damage. <laughs> Goodbye, increased mystical damage. Increased crit chance. And I get the bonus uh, back for... Um, yep, increased Sarmiento and Centella's strength. Oh, that's powerful. This is any source of elemental damage. Boost some of Veradicto's hits, creating bursts of fire. And we get nothing there. I'm gonna see if I can lean, like, super, super into... Just the free regenerated, it increases physical damage. Where's increased physical damage at? There's the veteran one. I don't suppose I could put that on. That's 15%. And then the trader, if I take that away, what would I put on instead? Increase my asthma damage may be good with that new ability that I have. Duration of blood packs. Increased damage dealt when blood foils. Health is at maximum. Reduces dodging cooldown. Reduces the... Yeah, that loss to one when hit. That's kind of nice. Increases the stun power. Reduces the fervor. Hmm. I think I'll just take the damage. And then, yeah, these two can stay... I mean, I could just lean super, super hard into this and get rid of both of these. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's lean super hard in on one particular build. So... Uh, do that. And... Now the question is, would you pair with anything super well? Hmm... Dodging cooldown? Aha. That just gives me this again, though. And I imagine they don't stack. Yeah, I imagine they don't stack. I kind of wanted a fourth resonance. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to grab one. Um, Limited of time to block. Let's try. Let's try swapping this. Let's put the pilgrim here and hope that they go together. Okay, they do. So those two go together. Now, what could I put up here to make a resonance happen here? I need to find one that goes with this partisan. Oh. Oh my god. That's just three Labetius favor. <laughs> they they can't stack. There's no way. There's no way they stack. Absolutely impossible. Yeah. Slightly increases the damage of prayers. Increases the elemental damage when that's at maximum. Fire damage. Yeah. I mean, we could also just put on, like, the Traitor. Reduces... Increase the window of time to perform a block. So put on the Traitor there instead. So we don't get that extra buff, but... Like I said, I don't think it's gonna stack. I don't think it does. So now it's just down to which one of these do I don't want. Reduce dodging cooldown? I'm gonna be honest, I don't even notice that. Kinda? It doesn't feel impactful enough. Like, if I take it off... Yeah, I... I kinda notice it. I feel like I've already built my strategy around the current timing of that, though, so I don't really need it. So... Yeah, it is really just, like, down to... What do I want? Increase damage inflicted when health is at maximum. There's the effects. Life is low. Increase my asthma damage, I guess, since I might start using this thing way more. Yeah, let's just go with that. And then, do I have a... I do. 
Jabera to the poison of jealousy. Invokes a memento of poison. Yeah. So. There we go. Oops, all poison in my asthma damage. Sorry, that that took a that that took a, a while to actually do, but it's it's hard to figure out what exactly you want to run. So I think what we want to do now, obviously there's still area left. Um, we can probably get some stuff from over here. Um, I do believe I can get a mark of martyrdom from Regina as well. I do believe she's the last one, even that I need to buy something from. So, after that, we can probably start spending our Tears of Atonement on actually getting rid of our guilt. We can remove our limiters for the end of the game here. You know. Hello. You put. I do. Oh, it's 32? So Shit, that's expensive. I thought it was 24. But I think that was the first one. Alright. But yeah, I'm gonna use this homing knives attack. A little bit more, methinks, because that that thing's pretty damn good. All right, and I don't need to check this, right? We we got another one, but oh no, we did, we did get them all. Yeah, okay, you're something I still need to pay. Kobijata Mayor. Okay, so there was an odd number of them. I guess not an odd number because yeah, there's four in black ribs over here with one. And white robes and four and black robes over here and one white robes. This one's just giant. <laughs> so. Alright, I got a cool new am I gonna immediately swap out <laughs> what I what I just got? Let's see, where is it? Uh this one. Automatically regenerate health. You bet your ass I'm swapping that. What what? Automatically? It, it can't be a lot. It's impossible. There's there's no way it's a lot. But that seems absurd. That seems absurd. I'm, I'm gonna put it on just to try it. We'll, we'll take off like, you know, um, increased my asthma damage here for it. Yeah, put that on. I want to see. I want to see just how much the regeneration actually is. Okay, so I'm going to go up there because um, we don't quite have all of them, but we saw last time that we can get the rewards piecemeal a little bit. So we'll see if we can do anything over here, and then I guess I just got to figure out what I'm doing after that. Of course, we might end the video off there. I have cut out a lot of stuff, but... Give me more. Bonk, bonk. Oh, okay, more tears. I mean, I imagine we have to get all of them before we can get the proper reward. What? No. Uh-uh. Well, it leads the it leads out to somewhere. Uh-oh. Okay. The path to the highest point is almost completed, penitent one. Do not allow your will to be sapped. I will try not to allow my will to be sapped. All right. Let's get up here. Thank you, my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, it's quite a climb, it's quite a climb. Getting over it with Penitent One. Alright, we do have a fair few marks of martyrdom now, right? Three, so it is enough for another upgrade. Increases the gain, yes. Unlocks the third. I do want to see what this is. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I do like that those are homing specifically. That makes them pretty damn useful. In my opinion. So, it does go a little bit higher, but we can't get to the top. But we can get here. Which is finally going to fill in this stupid spot that's been bothering the absolute hell out of me. Okay, this required a... Uh, sin, right? No? Obelisk of Proximo. Significantly increases the tiers of atonement gains. Uh, sure. Um. Well, this is mystical damage, I guess. Okay, that's something. Um, actually, I don't know where I'm going now, right? 
I guess here and maybe one of these doors is unlocked now. Because, yeah, we've found a lot of the other places. Obviously, I'm missing some Sons of the Miracle, so this is not the final, final area, of course. But, uh, yeah, let's get up there really quickly and just see what we got. Uh, so travel up here and let's just see what it looks like in these rooms. Yeah. And then if this isn't what we do, then I don't know. Said follow the heartbeats to the Herald of Birth. Four envoys wrapped my. Yeah. Hmm. And I mean, it's clearly like here. I'm way around here. I mean, that's where it's marking it. Because I don't see any other areas I could really go to right now. Because, yeah, I mean, I, I I knew we probably needed all the, all the, you know, the doves here. But I was like, I don't know, maybe somebody new has appeared here or something like that. Give me some hints. Let's go over here and just look at this area really quickly. I remember there was a weird area in, like, Bloodstained where you had to go to a certain screen while the moon was out. And it allowed you to get to, like, a new area or some shit like that. So, I don't know, maybe there's something odd like that happening here, or maybe there's something at this particular spot that I'm forgetting that will allow me to... to get somewhere. Um... I mean, I'm not really seeing anything. Huh. Oh! Wait, what? Before it had, like, a connecting line, didn't it? So I thought that meant it was like a train or an elevator or something. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? You know what? You know what? No, I, I realize now because this is where- this is where the thing was reflected. That's right, this is the water where this place was reflected. So before there wasn't really anything here, but now that it's visible again. Okay, okay. <laughs> There we go. Okay, well, at least we found out where we've got to go next before the uh, the next episode here. And hopefully we find six Sons of the Miracle here as well. So, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.